Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MT Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install WinRAR, a very popular file archiver utility that's been around for quite some time. So not only can it create and view different archives in the RAR or zip file formats, it can unpack numerous different archival file formats as well. And it's a really great utility and a lot of people use it. I think it is probably one of the most, if not the most popular file archiver utilities in the world. So I thought I'd make a brief video today just showing you guys how to download it. This is definitely for people who probably are not following this channel, but people who are more or less just looking up how to download it. So we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial today for you guys. So we're going to start by opening up any web browser you choose. So I'm actually going to just open up, let's say, Firefox for this video. You don't have to use Firefox, you can use any browser you choose. So now I'm going to search up WinRAR, and I'm going to search. So this happens to be on Yahoo Search, but if you're using Google, one of the top results that comes up should be from rarlab.com. You want to open up this link that says WinRAR Archiver. It should be one of the more popular ones on this list. You want to make sure you're downloading it from the official site. So I'm just going to click on it to open up the web page here. And then on the left side, I'm going to select the Downloads button. So you want to select your proper localized language here, or you can also download the more popular versions that should be up here as well. And if you guys were not aware, you can actually get WinRAR for free on Android devices. They actually do have it for free. WinRAR is a trialware software, meaning that you're technically supposed to pay for it after 30 days, but they're pretty lenient on it. They just will give you some nag warnings if you are beyond that 30-day trial. But anyway, so since the English version is already up near the top, I'm going to select that. And since I'm using a 32-bit version of Windows, I'm going to download the 32-bit one. If you're using a 64-bit, you're going to download the 64-bit one, which should be pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to download that. Shouldn't be that big from the size on the right in kilobytes. It should only be about um, a little under 2 megabytes. So I'm going to save that file. Once it's done saving, I'm going to open it up to run it. Now I'm going to minimize out of the web browser here. And you might receive a user account control window asking if you want to allow WinRAR to make changes to your device. You want to make sure it's a verified publisher you're downloading it from. That's why I usually recommend you download it from the official source. So once you've confirmed that, I'm going to select Yes to proceed with this installation. And again, I'm going to try and minimize that of our web browser there. It appears it was just kind of getting caught up with the user account control window. But nonetheless, we can see we can now set a destination folder for our WinRAR application. And actually, as a correction to what I said before, you actually have a 40-day test period. So once you've read through the end user license agreement, just click on install right down here to proceed with the installation. Should be pretty quick. And then in terms of customization, you can change a couple of the different file association types that WinRAR will extract and compress files with. Normally, I would keep all of them default. Um, you notice that they do have the ISO file unchecked here. There are other applications, including built-in Windows applications that can deal with ISO files. I'm assuming that's why they do not have that one checked, but you can check it if you want. It's not that big of a deal. And then once you've set all of this, you just click on OK at the bottom to confirm our change. It says WinRAR has been successfully installed to this folder. And pretty much we're good to go. You just click on Done here. And you have WinRAR on your computer. You can search it up. And if we type in WinRAR, we can see that a desktop app comes up for it. So we can open up the WinRAR user interface. 
and really nothing too special with it just want to show you guys that it's installed and what it kind of looks like so I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye